Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to go over the dankest memes from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. Let's get started. You'd think I'd have the actual folder open, but apparently I uh, have never done this before. And uh, am a complete moron. First one is from shoulder, specifically underscore shoulder underscore. The O5, of course it's the first one. The O5 Council, when they're asked if the SCP Foundation should continue testing with SCP-4342. More! So I think I only included one 4342 meme in this because I feel like otherwise we'd be going over a lot of the same ground. Um, I guess the only really important thing to say about this is that it's interesting how what feels very much like an SCP that is focused on what's the best way to put this an SCP, which is seems like at the very least, I don't know what the original author intended, but seems like it's supposed to be a reflection of meme culture has become such a meme. Uh, the idea of just doing the same things over and over and over again, uh, and expecting people to enjoy it and, or get some sort of benefit out of it. That's what memes generally are like original memes are a thing of course but of course a lot of memes are just retreading old ground over and over and over again or in this case the same scp the same topic over and over and over again um it's a weird meta commentary that <laughs> it's weird that the meta commentary that seems like it's about memes has been memed to death but that's the world we live in so <laughs> congratulations uh and it has been memed to death i included this one. this is the second shoulder meme i included this one because i have actually seen some of these for a little while now um and uh i thought it would be uh worth it to recognize uh the user pivot underscore ob after more than two years of daily scp memes good job keep up the good work I don't have anything specific to say, but good work. Just ignore it. But isn't that an SCP? Marge, just about everything is an SCP. You ever sit down and read this thing? Technically, color photographs are an SCP. That's true. Was it 8900-X, I think was from the article here? Oh, by the way, this is from Driver2900. Uh, Let's make sure we get the name. Uh, I, I never want to forget the names. I'm going to get better at this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's... Um, you ever sit down and read this thing? Technically, yeah. I mean, you'd be surprised what is and isn't an SCP. Uh, some things that shouldn't be uh, treated quite so flippantly are, are being treated more, more flippantly than you'd expect. <laughs> this one's by FanboyX27. Time to read some SCPs. Wait a minute, what the hell? The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Hmm? Um... <laughs> I still find this uh, to be, I mean, it's funny, in an, again, in a meta commentary sort of way, but at the same time, I don't actually like The Great Gatsby, so this makes, it made it pretty easy for me to decide where I was going to fall on the vote, because, like, you write an article that is just The Great Gatsby with a few, like, a few tiny little changes to it, um, <clears throat> then that makes it easy, because I don't like The Great Gatsby. I mean, it's all right, but I'm not a big fan of that kind of fiction in the first place. And I would argue that it's just mediocre. It's not bad, of course, but it's very mediocre. If you like this style of thing, like the the, the romance, the pining, the b bullshit, <laughs> depre not quite depression era uh, time period, then, you know, it's that's gonna you're going to enjoy it. But if you don't like that kind of thing. You're like me, you like science fiction with a sprinkle of fantasy every once in a while. Um, then you're going to be like, well, I don't know. And probably be a little bit more. I'm probably being a bit more uh, critical of it than I need to be. But I don't like it. So it's easy. Ooh, I should see if there's a science fiction story that's public domain that I can throw up now. Anyway, <laughs> I'm joking. This one is by Fine Possibility 494 There are two types of SCPs and fish ed jones 2020 take a deep breath and vote for fish ed jones 2020 fish ed jones 2020 fish ed 
I think there's probably more than two types, but it is this is these are some of the two most prominent types, the eldritch horror sort of stuff, or it's just super weird, just super weird. Uh, and I actually very much skew towards the super weird stuff over the, the eldritch horror or even horror in general uh, types of stories. So, yeah, I don't mind if these were the only two types, I wouldn't be I would be OK with it. It would be half of the wiki I wouldn't probably read that much of or enjoy that much of. But then there would be half that I did. California, California, my entire home has been burned to ashes. This entire stuff. Wow. Daybreak. Yeah, uh, car underscore AA is correct um, in the sense that you should maybe not be making light of people's entire lives being destroyed. Um, you have to you have to weigh like when somebody in California sees your meme about how the sun being red is daybreak and how funny that is or how entertaining that is or how interesting that is uh, when they see it. And they attach a completely different meaning to it. Just be a little bit more sensitive. That's all. Natabo. Sorry. Let's get this name right. Nab Tab was taken. I like series one articles. What does that mean? It means he's afraid of series four to six. No, it doesn't. Series three, series four. Stop it, Patrick. You're scaring him. Um... <laughs> I've actually never watched SpongeBob, but I'm pretty sure that's SpongeBob's voice-ish. I mean, not it's not a great impression, but you know, um, I don't know. People talk about series one like it's. I mean, first of all, series one isn't a monolith. Like they're, they're terrible at series one articles, and there are good series one articles. Um, the problem is that some of the really bad ones are like the most popular, which is you know, I don't know. Zway Zy twenty nine. Here comes the sun by the Beatles. Yay. By the, yes. Here comes the sun, little darling. Here comes the sun. And I say it's all right. It's so beautiful. Don't go under the sun. Anyway, <laughs> I think maybe I just included that just so I could sing a little bit. I like doing so it makes me feel good I was explaining to my dad one time before um when he asked why i do that sometimes and i'm like it, it it whenever i'm feeling particularly anxious or like my brain is racing a mile a minute it slows me down and it calms me a little bit even if i'm not even if i don't think I, other people say whatever they want to say even if i don't think i'm very good at it um it's still just something that calms my mind <laughs> oh uh, that was the last one all right. So thanks to Shoulder, Driver2900, FanboyX27, Find Possibility 494 Car underscore AA, uh, Nab Tab Was Taken, and Zwei29 for providing the means for this week's, or this bi-weekly, yeah, this week's memes. If you like the video, scroll down and hit the subscribe button, and then... Hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian like everybody here on the screen already has, including MC Kejmil, who was pledged at $50, and Sinjariki, who was pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday.